Hi everybody, it's Miss Karen from the Hancock Town Library with another easy science experiment for you. Um, this is called Fizzy Dinosaur Eggs because we're celebrating dinosaurs for the whole month of November. And that's my cat scratching in the background. Okay, so all you need is baking soda, food coloring, sorry, um, water, and vinegar, white vinegar. So, and plastic dinosaurs, we can't forget those. So it's a good idea to wear plastic gloves because when you're, you'll see, but when you use food coloring and you're touching it, it can stain your, your hands. So I take some baking soda. I used a whole little package that is basically three cups, I believe, but just to speed things up, I put a, um, a little bit less. And then I just take some um, food coloring and put some drops in the baking soda. And then we're gonna stir it up. It depends, um, you, you can put whatever colors you want. You can mix colors, so you can have a couple of bowls of baking soda and then you can have, especially if you have, you know, a lot of kids at home, they might wanna do their own bowl and choose their own colors. So it takes a little bit to stir it up. They, they form these little um, food coloring balls and you kind of have to mix them in. It takes a little bit of time and actually maybe if we put water in it, it might speed things up a little bit. It might dissolve it. I'm going to speed things up by adding some more food coloring and maybe a little bit of water just to get things going. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep um, stirring this up and then once the color is mixed then you start to add some water. I, I usually just do like a quarter a cup but I would pour the water in slowly because you want to get it the right uh, consistency to get it like pasty so that you can form an egg. So if you put, you want to see exactly how much water, so you, you just do a little at a time and just see if, if it's the right consistency. So that's where your gloves would come in because sometimes it's just easier to just use your hands. <laughs> so, and it's kind of fun. So this is, this is just a little bit messy, this activity, so, um, you know, you might want to put it on a tray or put newspaper down or whatever, because it does get a little messy. All right, so it's starting to feel like I can, sort of like Play-Doh, it has that consistency of Play-Doh. All right, that's good enough, I think. So what you're going to do is just take, you take some of the baking soda, let's call it dough. We made sort of dough out of it. And you just sort of, you're going to stick a dinosaur, plastic dinosaur, like so. And then you just add some more, cover it up. and then you will form an egg. So the, the longest part of this is actually freezing it. So you wanna put these in the freezer. So I put them on a cookie sheet and I, you know, a couple of hours, but I actually just did it for a day because um, I had things to do. So I put them in the freezer. So this right now needs to be frozen before you can do the rest of the experiment. But I happen to have three frozen eggs that I did the other day. So I put them in any kind of container, but something where you can really see the, the action. So these are, you can get a couple of plates and if you have more than one kid, they can both do their own. So then you take the vinegar, this is the white vinegar, and if you have little droppers, that's good. Some kids use, um, 
a little spray bottle and I just sort of put some vinegar. Oh, fizzy. So what's happening, of course, is the vinegar and the baking soda are having a reaction here. The baking soda, baking soda is an alkaline, the vinegar is an acid. So when they mix together, they make a gas, carbon dioxide, and it causes all the bubbles in the fizzy. Ooh, I wonder what's in these eggs. Hmm. I guess these are really frozen. So I'm just gonna work on these a little bit. You can hear, probably hear the fizzy sound. Hmm. Now if you make the eggs smaller, obviously it will take less time. might need to add some more vinegar. Now, if I want to speed things up a tad bit for the purposes of this um, video, I can just like do it straight from the bottle here. Ooh, it's like a little volcano, volcanic reaction here. Come on, dinosaurs, I know you're in there. <laughs> Wow. Wow, those are really frozen. <laughs> this one's smaller. Let's see what happens. Maybe I froze them a little bit too much. You can, you know, if you just freeze them for a couple of hours, they won't take quite as long. All right, come on, dinosaur. I'm gonna work on the smallest one. And luckily, I have extra vinegar. It takes longer than necessary. I have a giant jug of vinegar. I bet it won't take long for the one that's not frozen. You can buy your vinegar in a giant jug. I find that a lot of experiments with um, vinegar cause this fun reaction here. Ooh, I see something. Ooh, what's going on? Oh. Totally submerge it, see what happens. Mm. Ah, <gasps> what's going on? I think I see something. I'll put it in there. Almost done, I think I see something. What could it be? And there is the dinosaur that came out of the fizzy egg. So I hope you enjoy this very messy um, fizzy egg experiment. And I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. And I'm gonna work on these after that we, we end the video because I'm dying to see what's in here, but this might take a long time. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.